It's time for another Tech Tip Sunday. I think we're going to start doing the Tech Tips, tech tips on Sunday, Sunday nights. Hey, um, just a quickie. You know, I, it's one of the big ones that uh, a lot of people come and ask for help on. Setting gear mesh. How do you correctly set the gear mesh? There's a lot of different opinions out there. Um, my way is not the only way or the right way or the best way. It's uh, what I find works the best. And... Uh, I never usually have issues, so uh, learned from experience over you know the past twenty plus years doing this. So um, I'll put you down and uh, kind of show you a few little tips and tricks that I use to get the proper gear mesh on all these RC cars. So I figured I'd show you on it's a pretty big setup. This is a 56 118 1100 KV. Um, go, that's, I'm working on. For a buddy of mine that's going into a 8S Creighton. Um, so it's a pretty big monster, but the gears are big, so it's a lot easier to show you um, how I go about setting the gear mesh. So um, you got to have a little bit of gap. You can see that. Hopefully, maybe you can hear it. You got to have some of that. So um, one of the things that I do a lot of times, and you got to take your time, right? So, you know, you've got your two screws. I usually get the screws in there, get everything snugged up kind of where you want it so you can slide it in, right? Um, a little tip that I do sometimes depends on, you know, if you've got an area that's kind of tight to get to and it's hard to really, um, you know, to check it out. I take a, you get a piece of like a computer paper or whatever. get a piece of paper like that right um and you can actually you can actually stick that in between slide it in together you know nice and tight and get it tight and if you can roll it out right it'll usually roll out so like i don't even know if i won't, but i can probably get this to go in there um so let's see so like this will roll it all the way through and it won't really tear it up so that gear mesh is probably pretty good right but what i'll do is i'll stick it in there push it up against there tighten everything down um and then roll it out and you can see you know this one's this one's pretty good but the biggest piece right when you're going to set up the gear mesh right you got to have that little gap right um i always listen to it I look at it, I feel it. You need to check at multiple intervals on the gear set because you can set it up in one spot and it'll feel like it has enough gear mesh and you can set it up in another spot and it'll be tight because some of these gears aren't always the best, right? Some of these spur gears or the stock ones aren't always the best. Um, and I noticed you look there, the gap's a little bit bigger, right? But if you come back here, and I can feel it as I come into it, the gap's tighter, right? And if you, so if you set up your, your gap on a looser area, um, you're gonna have, you're gonna have a spot probably, you know, somewhere where it's too tight. Um, and I've had that, you know? And so you always want to make sure after you set it and you get it all locked down and tight, rotate through, feel it, check it in a couple spots. It's always tough. It's always tough on like, you know, some of the Arma 3S, 4S vehicles where they've got that whole module and everything. But you can still, you can still go underneath and you can spin that bottom, you know, uh, spur gear and you can feel it too. So even here you can move that. Um, so the biggest thing is, right, get it all snug, biggest tip is to rotate it through, make sure you got it. It should all be smooth, right? It should be a nice, smooth gear. You don't want it clashing anywhere, and you don't want it bound up, right? If you've got a spot where it's too tight, loosen everything off, set the gear mesh on that tight spot, and then you should be good to go, right? So uh, proper gear mesh, you should have a little bit of gap, you should have it you know, moving around a little bit, you know, if it's not moving at all, it's too tight. So, 
and I've had many people come in shredded gears or whatnot and I've seen it I mean plastic gears metal gears and it's because the pin they went and did their own pinion setup which is fine to do anybody can do it honestly um, but they just set it up too tight so tech tip Sunday gear mesh use your piece of paper it's a really good easy way to you know to, to gauge it or you get it close and you can feel it I sometimes will use this most of the time I'm always going by by feel now feel and sound you can feel it so stay tuned comment like subscribe I'm gonna see if I can do a few more of these uh, tech tick Sundays let me know if you want more of them um, in the comments tell me what you might want to see if there's anything that I can give you uh, my um, my knowledge on let me know we'll catch you on the next one